can. You sure can. Wow. In fact, the more important you are, the closer you sit to the front. Wow, so I'm so important. Uh, you are very important. Mm -hmm. That's a dip? No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We sort of have everybody, don't we? We lost the gentleman in the hat who was in the... Oh, okay. Come on in. This is our Senate. Uh, we're not allowed to have drinks on tour, so if you could have stuck that in your purse. I'm, you know, you're, let me just point you out to everybody, right? I'm sorry. I, you just didn't hear me the first time. Don't worry about it. Um, this is our Senate chamber, and this is one half of the legislative branch. We just saw the executive branch. We're now visiting the legislative branch. We have the Senate and we have the House of Representatives. These are folks who are elected by smaller groups of people in the state. In fact, a senator represents about 125,000 people in his or her district. Uh, there are 50 senators. There are 100 representatives, so they represent half as many people in their district. But they all have to be, in this room, they have to be 25 years old, and you have to have lived in your district for a year. Those are the only requirements. There are not educational requirements for this position because they want everyone to feel free to be a part of this body. Does anybody know what they do here? Elect the governor? No. Good. That's good. Try. They vote. They vote. What do they vote on? Laws? Laws. They make the laws for the state. The Senate members and the House members make the laws for the state of Indiana. They don't make national laws. Um, they can't make laws for any other... It won't open the drawers, honey. <laughs> <laughs> they can't make laws for any other states. Those are all... Those all come to us from Washington. But anything for the state of Indiana is made here and in the House of Representatives. They have three votes. They uh, take uh, an idea which is written into a bill to committee committee does as much as they can to find out about that bill, how much it's going to cost, if it's really a good idea or not. Then it comes back to the full body and they make amendments, small changes in that bill, and then there's a third and final vote. If they pass all three votes here, the bill then goes to the House of Representatives and they start all over again. So basically it's a series of six votes and lots of investigation before a bill passes far enough to go to the governor. The governor at that point can veto it, or he can sign it into law, or it can go into law without his signature after seven days, which just means he doesn't strongly endorse it. Part-time legislature, they'll be back here in January, and they'll be here until about the middle of March. Then half of the people in this room are up for re-election. We have no term limits in this body, so you can be in here. We have people in here who have been in here for 30-some years, as long as they can be re-elected to, uh, to this body. Um, the room does not look at all like it did in 1888. They put new walls inside, which once was a larger room, and they created these offices. Now, our legislators don't have offices like the treasurer's office. They have cubicles. You can kind of see some of them around, around the areas here. And they do have staff members. They have one, well, as I heard a senator explain it, she has half a secretary. Uh, the secretary always has two senators working here with them, and they're here full time to handle any issues that are going on. Um, the gallery up here behind you is the public gallery, and if you want to come in when they're working in this room, then you can be seated up there and watch what's going on. Also, you notice the camera. It's all live webcast when they're in here working, so you can get on the internet and watch it. Um, the press is always invited in. You and I could not come in here when they're actually working um, because it's restricted, but the press is invited in. The newspaper people are seated back in the back, and then the television cameras are placed up there behind the wall so they can film what's going on in here.